And we're live. All right. Uh, I'm back with a good old staple of mine, uh, Blackberry. Uh, being Canadian and all, uh, it's always fun to go and uh, take a look at this uh, very uh, emotionally followed uh, underlining stock. Um, so with no further ado, uh, I have the 10-year uh, chart in front of me. Let me get my on the uh, from the TSC Toronto Stock Exchange. So the prices. Uh, no, hold on. I have the. Um, uh, used to be on Nasdaq, but I haven't checked in a while. Now I see it's on the uh, New York Stock Exchange under BB ticker. And uh, let's look at what we have. Uh, monthly candle charts. I don't have uh, quite ten years because uh, there was a ticker name change back uh, a few years back, I think, and. 2013 so I'll forget all my previous posts I've ever done on this I've done a few you could uh, always go to uh, my bad charts um, website right here and you could see that uh, if you go down and search and you do a search for BBRY You'll see that I've done um, a few posts here. 2015, 2015, another one 2015. Here's another one also. So I did four for 2015 for BlackBerry. And uh, that's it. Fun read to see how, st how, how these uh, analysis were done and uh, how the chart um, morphed to what it is today. And... Uh, Let's go back to our chart and uh, let's get going. All right, so now if, uh, first thing I see is uh, probably some support here. Let's start, yeah, maybe around here. Let's make a straight line as possible, some support here. Uh, and usually I always try to see if I can make a parallel line with uh, the support and uh, to see if I have what type of pattern I have. Um, in this case, if I had to have a parallel uh, resistance line to go with that support line, then I, that'd give me a huge uh, rectangle. So I could trace it around here, maybe here around the $11 area looks about right and uh, here it is all right so now this is the range we've had for the past uh, 2013 for the past uh, four years already and uh, let me scoot that over just a little bit so we could see and let me shrink that and let's see what I have here so I'm gonna narrow the width uh, the bottom to height uh, of uh, this chart pattern is will be the measured move once added to a, either a breakout above the resistance line or a breakdown below the resistance line. So right now, since we're hovering around the uh, resistance breakout line, we're I'll just look at the uh, the eventual breakout if ever there will be one. Set an alert here around the eleven. Uh, 34, 35 area. So if ever the price goes set here, set it again. Whoa, here. All right. So if ever the price goes above 11.55 or 11.50, I'm gonna get a. I'll get a trigger and come back look at it. And uh, the eventual target. If this ever breaks out, for me to consider this a breaks out, it means that I need to have a monthly close above my identified breakout line. Uh, all these wicks above the breakout line, this is noise. This on the weekly charts, on the daily charts, and the smaller time frames, you'll see this as a declared breakouts. But since I'm waiting for the close, uh, if the price action uh, you see during the month was way above, ah, uh, wait, it's a breakout. 
eh, get trapped. You buy here, you think it's a breakout, you think every measure move a little higher, but it was just uh, monthly noise. The price uh, retraced back to under the breakout line, the, the hardcore resistance or hardcore support. If we'd be uh, looking at the, this bottom area here. So this helps me minimize um, getting whipsawed, entering trades that uh, I shouldn't be entering, and um, augment my uh, probabilities of reaching my possible targets. I enter a lot less trades than when I was dealing uh, weekly and daily charts, uh, candle charts, but I don't mind. I'm doing my homework and uh, refining my art, and uh, I'm waiting for A++ setups. This is the longer I'm ranging in the formation, the stronger uh, the breakout will be. If this range was even tighter, uh, let's say 20% move up and down, up and down, 20% move of price for uh, two, three, four, five years, the eventual breakout is uh, will be reached very fast. A lot of uh, explosion will probably happen. I'll reach my target maybe in the next month or two max. And I've seen sometimes that even my target uh, could be tripled the, what would be uh, usually used as a target. So if this was a tighter range and um, uh, my arrow from bottom to height, I would probably double it or triple it and that would be added onto the breakout line. But right now I don't see that. The range is fairly large and uh, I'll just consider it this way. And time always, I reset my alerts. Um, could set my alerts back here. If ever there's a price action that goes back down under the 630 level, then I could reevaluate the chart where it's at and see from there. But right now, here's where I am. Um, I'd like to look also if there's divergence of the RSI. Not very clear what I have here. RSI seems flat. The price action seems flat. I don't see any bearish or bullish divergence right now to give me an indication that uh, the price action would uh, go back down and test the previous uh, support right here. Those are These are two moves I see right now, either going back test the previous support or breaking out and uh, reaching the target. But I'm going to keep an eye on the breakout. I'd like to play that. So we'll come back to this once we reach it. All right, guys. So that's it. Thank you very much and uh, see you soon when we get the uh, triggered. All right. See ya.